Why is that a problem, you might ask. And here's the answer I would give you. Number one, you can't clean the surface back here. So now we are having a risk of the back end of the second molar. Now, why now? Why not just wait till it's a problem? Because what you can see here is that the roots of the third molar have not fully developed yet. This is what a fully developed root looks like. You can see that it ends where it's pointy. And then look over here, and you can see that it's not. It's not finished yet. But this right here is the nerve. So the idea is if we can get this tooth out before it continues to develop into the nerve, we can avoid things like um, numbness in the, in the jaw, which could last a lifetime. Um, so the risks are minimal at this point. And you can almost see it's almost trying to make a little hook here. Now, as far as the upper wisdom tooth goes, without the lower wisdom tooth, the top one typically will end up coming down and bashing on the tissues below it. The upper jaw is softer than the lower jaw, and so these teeth will end up typically coming out on their own, but they end up sticking out like this, and so this cusp will just sit there and rub on the tissues. What you can also see here is this area right here that's gray, this is getting bitten on by these teeth, right in here. So with this tooth out and this tooth out, this tissue can now shrink back down to down here, and that tissues are not, those tissues are not going to get bitten on by the patient. Um, so here you have a girl with uh, beautiful, beautiful teeth, um, practically no fillings whatsoever, and we are going to end up taking out her wisdom teeth. Actually, we have since taken out her wisdom teeth in order to avoid all the risks and complications with the nerve and with the space. And like I said, once she's done and healed up, that bone is going to heal right back up here like it's intended to. All right, my friends.